cryptocurrency cardano in general are both pumping right now in terms of price and i'll be honest it may just be my fault now maybe you've experienced this before likely you have but anytime you go ahead and sell some cryptocurrency or buy some cryptocurrency in a lump sum it tends to do the opposite of what you want it to do. The price goes down when you buy it and the price goes up when you sell it. This is just a phenomenon that happens. And in today's video, I wanna talk about that specifically and where I'm at selling it some of my Cardano to claim tax losses so I can actually pay off my taxes this fiscal year for me. I know I've talked about this in the past few videos, but I wanna make another separate video on it just to kind of chat with you, just to have a little log here of what's happening in my mind and what's going on at the current time as things move quickly but they also do move slowly and they're gonna take a long time to get where we want them to go. And that being said, I thought it'd be worthwhile to just talk about, I sold 68,000 Cardano at 47 cents. We're now at 53 cents. Um, you know, we have some peak. Obviously it doesn't look like a big change when we're looking at a larger time frame. If we zoom in uh, or if we have a more minuscule time frame. It does look a bit more dramatic in this case it looks very not so dramatic but i do plan on buying all of this cardano back or at least a large portion of it in a month later after my tax claim has been you know losses have been confirmed they can buy back in so that's the plan here i'm not just selling my cardano to leave cardano i know a lot of people aren't subscribing they think that that's not the plan but in general um I think it does feel like at least that I have caused this mini pump that we're seeing in the crypto markets 10% the past week for Cardano and all the rest of crypto is doing very well since I've sold my Cardano. Interesting to note is that no one knows where the market's going. Wow, shocker. But it is really weird to see how many people think that we are not even close to the bottom yet and this is all one big bull trap or the contrary of one big bear trap it seems to be split 50 50 from where i'm looking at maybe though there is a lot more people hoping for cheaper prices because they sold at you know current prices and they want to get back in and double their total coins without doubling the usd valuation so i'm not exactly sure where it's going to go but a lot of people are rooting for it to go to the downside even more and saying how the bottom's not in yet they're 100 convicted in this and then there's the other crowd of people which is saying, oh, this is all just one big ruse. The bull market's back on. We're up 10% and there's no way anything can stop us. The amount of people who thought Cardano was going to $10 in 2021 and it was just going to happen, it was very likely, was it was a lot of people. It was a ton. Myself included, I thought, okay, it's entirely possible. But the amount of people around this time of the year between here and here that thought oh yeah cardano could go to ten dollars and even after it started going down from its all-time high were more than you would typically see pumping anything and this was just because people euphoric people were still really excited to get that top of the bull market uh you know cash in but it never happened and ever since the three dollar all-time high in september 2021 we have been downtrending and now we're at, you know, where I sold down here, 50 cents, 48 cents. And everyone is thinking the same things. It's 100% going down to the bottom. Uh, we're going down even 50% more. We're going to 30 cents, 20 cents. Bitcoin's going down to 10,000. I don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people seem convicted in such things. But at the end of the day, we're just going to have to wait and see. And also, if you're someone who did sell like me recently, hope a month later that the price is less than what you sold for so you can pick up some coins for cheaper but honestly if you're just betting on that you are gambling in a sense and that is kind of what i'm doing but i had to do it so it's not like i'm forcing uh or not like i'm not forced to sell or pay my taxes everyone has to pay taxes but if you are someone who's in a better position than myself and you don't have to sell and you are convicted in the asset still i personally wouldn't have sold there you know, I just wouldn't have done it because there is too much to lose in the long run, especially if I plan on holding this like I have been planning for five, 10 plus years. I've said it once and I'll say it a hundred thousand more times. This is not financial advice. And also no one knows where things are going to go. Even if they tell you their magic crystal ball is saying it's going to up or down, no one really knows. In general, I wouldn't have sold here 
if I didn't have to for taxes, but I do. So if you're someone who maybe did sell here, you're hoping, oh, maybe it'll go up, maybe it'll go down. Um, honestly, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Personally, it is kind of like gambling at this point. Um, it is, to me, seems like a 50-50 in the short term. Long term, obviously, I believe it's gonna go up, but that is just how these things go, especially so when we're in a quote-unquote bear market, things can be very deceiving, and who knows when the bull market will resume. Overall though, things do seem quite slow. I don't see them picking up to bear market speeds anytime soon. We have tweets like this basically going back and forth. This is what people are forced to tweet about now. Uh, one cryptocurrency and similar market cap flipping the other and shocker, it flips it again uh, back to back within a few hours. So these things happen. Things are getting slower and slower it seems in terms of news and people's mainstream attention. Maybe I'm wrong but that does seem to be the case here and a lot less things that people are talking about from the fundamental level that they would be even with huge developments coming to Cardano and other cryptocurrencies. So at the end of the day, that's my crypto log for today. That's my personal investment, my personal thoughts on the market. I hope you guys have a great freaking day. It's been your friend Jack. Stake with Jack Stakepool to earn passive 8 on your ADA, and I'll see you in the next video.